The past is your playground at Stergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. Rebecca. <laughs> and Sean. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. <laughs> we a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Muggins. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. Looks so ugly. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. <laughs> My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. <laughs> George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. <laughs> Jacob! Easy! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! <laughs> Poor man. More afraid than ever. 
years of not been kind. Phoebe be Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. It's cool, it kind of like covers one part of the, uh, the face, you know? <laughs> very common uh, the child labor and at this time oh, well, should we go? Oh. yeah but oh this God. room over here cast the imperial ace brio uh whatever let's go and uh, see what's in uh. hey dude don't mind me what was that? Thanks. And it's curious that, you know, like this, uh, like the work at the time was really uh, like uh, bad, the, the, you know, the conditions of the work. What? Oh, yeah. But you can't run it, fortunately. It's a sneak, see? Mm -hmm. Um. They were really despicable, uh, no, really bad, and stuff, and things wouldn't change because one, like men were were working, they were suffering the, uh, under those conditions, you know, and they, you know, just felt okay with it, you know, like uh, you know, like it's work, we should should endure it and stuff. But when women got in there and like you know when they got right to get job and stuff, they start fixing kind of like stuff. They are the ones who like were the vanguard of the uh, revolutions, you know, like to make better salaries, uh, oh. have better sal. Oh. Did we just come back in the same place? Yes, we did. Uh, uh, so women are the reason uh, uh, the condition changed. Exactly, it got better and stuff because. Or else it would be same place, you know, like slaves and stuff. But no, like many times I read through history, many were like, okay, men were present in some of those, uh, you know, like the, like how you call it, like uh, historical moments. Huh? What do you mean? Damn. Um. You know, like those, uh, I forgot the, the name. Revolutions. Well, not true. Revolution. No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. Well, create the problem. I want the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. I just fo uh, saw that uh, red. Uh, see. So. And yeah, prison our condition is better because they kind of like took the vanguard on doing better, you know, it's like to st uh, the and watch as things got bad. Just took matters into their own hands. Exactly. That was cool. Actually. And not many people mentioned that. Uh -huh. 
I'm curious that they're just standing by and just do, not doing anything. Why don't you just continue where you were going? Where are you going now? Uh, I thought there was no passage towards there. That was a big ass jump. Here, see? Don't oh. think. Whoa. Alright. Don't think I get used to that. There's one. This is kind of like a tutorial um, mission. Yeah. To get used to the controls. So I think we could just stop it too. Okay, doors open. What's all this? Which one of you is responsible? This is Ralph. The sanitary inspector. Take care. Cleaning on the rats. He goes fast. Shit, that's so cool. He must be a boxer. Yeah. Shit. Oh, come on. Why the thing blows yellow? Yeah, it's uh, not just. Jesus. Shit. Did he just break his arm? Cool. I don't know. I feel like the fightings are. Is it me or it's. It's not very. Exactly. Chloe. It's like Tor Kitty, kind of like. But probably right now because it hasn't introduced more. Um, more. Um, moves? I don't know. I was supposed to come. Ah, oh, I'm just supposed to attack continuously. So it kind of like differentiates from the other games because it's not like uh, it's more like you attack and that's it. You know, you don't give him a chance to def uh, to attack. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like we'll see. Choice, left or right? The left. Time to head for higher ground. Whoa, forward. Let's just try to go forward. No, not forward. Not fighting. There's a line over there. Yes. Okay. So we reach kind of like a viewpoint. Fur and down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry, my friend. Yeah. Oh, you serious? I was probably gonna do something. What they mean by him being aggressive? He, like just goes. Go straight for the kill. Exactly. Yeah, but I, I thought when he meant aggressive, like like more, you know, stronger punches, you know, strength. I mean, we're way too too uh, used to uh, Arno. Probably. Arno's more suave. <laughs> yeah. 
Whoa, double kill. Alright, this is open. Oh, no. Oh, try to use it. Oh, you're supposed to use it. <laughs> Very sneaky of me. Stupid action. Okay, he seriously does look the same to be a boxer. Look at his punches. Mm -hmm. um, are you serious, bro? By drawing us. What was up with that guy? Okay, I just got I just got uh, stabbed by two knives, but let me continue doing what I was doing. Like seriously? Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. So wait, what, he heard that? Mm, whoa. What? <laughs> so we jump into the fire side. Okay. Point I three. think we need to go up. See? To these things. Yeah, uh huh. But yeah, oh, there's a ladder. Oh. Oh, it's just the ladders. See, just jump. Can we... Yeah, oh, he grabbed. No, 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 Okay. Go up. Yep, this exactly. camera, seriously. Go back at the other side. Curious that these guys don't wonder, like, what the hell is this guy doing? Taking a break from work. Yeah. Lunch time. Is he gonna be a problem? I think he is. He's a guard. Are we supposed to kill 107, uh, 120 guards here? Oh. 
Oh, but not here. I think it's more like the whole game and you get a trophy for that. Is it? Yeah, probably. You know, trophy stuff. Okay. Did he see how he jumped? Oh, That's cool. So it cool. Kinda, and it gives you some entry points. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you could choose. Kind of like in, uh, in uh, Unity. Well, he's a, uh, you know, brute Go up, go up, go up. Yeah, right. I'm going, I'm going. Or what, where, where do you want to go? Uh, above as well, you know. Oh. Wrecking ball. Came in like a wrecking ball. ball. <laughs> It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years. And we'll run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon. You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. Like the feather, you know? Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Eddie was doing the feather stuff. Which is kind of creepy, though. <laughs> now that you think about it. An Arno? I know. See, this Arno. is the good help. <laughs> well, this, this lady really doesn't like his boss. Her boss, like. What did I want to say? Um, and uh, Jacob is <laughs> actually very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I said Arno. Like, I don't mingle in my boss's affairs, <laughs> he's getting his ass beat in me out there. I don't <laughs> Alright, let's run. We run. Oh, was actually waiting for her? Is she in front? Uh, I don't think so. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. You're trying to evade the bullets because they're right style. behind you. Oh. Yeah, you mustn't leave them a chance to fight back. Ooh. Ooh. Do another one. Do another one. I'm doing it. Doing it. I did press the triangle, I don't know. Sure that he was waiting or something. Ah, okay, don't you have to press while it's up here? Like on the right moment, you know? Right at the, until the end. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like in the counter attack, too. Yeah. Kind of. Dope. It's my train. Are you serious? Lost your bottle, boys. Shit. Seem to have made an unscheduled stop. That's kind of Because this is once an hour. Climb down. Oh. Don't you mean up? Who would want to go into that? 
Well, because you know, climbing up is way too mainstream. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, mainstream. <laughs> okay, jump, jump, jump. Come on, it's just a big jump. Okay. Taking on the positive side, this place must be really warm, you know, right now. I feel. Yeah. He can definitely stop and warm his hand. Whoa, what the hell came from? Maybe next time I'll walk. Oh. <laughs> 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 Completely rewards. Belts initiate belt. Is this karate school of some kind? Okay. Initiate belt. You have a white belt now. <laughs> Then yellow, orange, and then let's move on.